Hey, what's up? This is Brian Pfeiffer, the owner of BachelorVegas.com. And I'm standing here right in front of Marquee Day Club and Night Club. Today we're going to talk about Marquee Day Club bottle service. And I'm going to give you all the uh, options for getting tables here at Marquee, one of the more popular pools here in Las Vegas. And uh, it's been going strong for, I don't know, over 20 probably 10 years now, the place continues to impress. In fact, uh, this past year was probably the busiest I've ever seen it, and the demand was the highest I've ever seen it. So uh, definitely no uh, disappointment here if you come to Marquee Day Club, and uh, even at the nightclub, it's been rocking pretty good compared to uh, prior to this race of sickness. So uh, this place is definitely holding its own. We're here in the Cosmopolitan. You can see the, uh, the old shandy, chandelier bar in my background here. It's kind of a busy day. There might be some background noise, so I do apologize for that. But uh, <clears throat> let's talk about Marquee Day Club. So. Um, just so you know, there's a pretty strict dress code here for pools. you got to wear uh, pool attire, so swim shorts if you're guys, no khaki shorts, no jean shorts, uh, sandals, flip-flops, uh, gym shoes, those are okay, tank tops are okay, uh, no wife beaters, no jerseys, no athletic gear. Okay, guys, so dress like you're coming to a pool party, and you'll be fine. Now, ladies, you can wear a cover-up of some sort because you're going to walk to and from through the casino here, so you're going to want to wear a cover-up over your bikini or one piece. Um, as far as like security goes, it's gotten um, actually a little bit easier now than it used to be. They have this like metal detector thing. You hold your phone and anything metal, like your keys or anything in your right hand, you walk past this metal thing. If it turns green, you're good. If not, you're, uh, they, they search you with a wand. But it's actually gotten pretty easy. Make sure you, you check for uh, um, you know your weed pens and your vapes. You're going to want to leave those at home, most likely. Uh, if they find them on you, they're going to take them away. Because weed is technically illegal inside these casinos here uh, at the Cosmo. Uh, but it is legal in Nevada. But the, Federal licenses operate these casinos, so you're gonna to want to stay away from uh, uh, any kind of vape or weed pen because they don't know if it's uh, weed inside the vape, vice versa. So just don't bring those because they're gonna maybe take it away. All right, let's talk about the bottle service here at uh, Marquee Day Club. Um, your best uh, tables and the most expensive, obviously, are the Grand Cabanas. Uh, they're along the left-hand side when you walk in, and those are going to have your own pool. Um, I think there's 11 of them, and uh, those are prime. I mean, they used to be you know, 7,500 range, and now they've gotten up to like 10 and 15 range on the weekends, so they're pretty expensive. They're a little less on uh, Thursdays, Fridays, and Sundays, but Saturdays, of course, they're almost always sold out, and they're, they're really expensive. Um, so those are really good. You get your own pool. They're good for like 15 to 20 people. Um, some of the best cabanas in Las Vegas, definitely. Okay, and then uh, you got your, on the right hand side, you got your regular um, cabanas. Okay, the cabanas along the right hand side, I believe there's like 12 or 12 or 13 of them. Uh, the ones in the middle are considered like your prime cabanas, they cost a little bit more. And the ones on the end, on the one side and the end on the other, uh, they're kind of a little bit out of the action, but they're less money. Um, but they're still a cabana nonetheless at Marquis, which is a pretty good pool. So um, those are going to be your... Um, your prime and your uh, non-prime command is on the right hand side. Now you got um, basically throughout, spread out throughout the pool you have um, what are called your day beds. Okay, there's prime day beds and there's non-prime day beds. And those are your, your, your choices, okay? Obviously the prime day beds are going to be a little more expensive and those are going to be the ones around the pool, uh, the main pool, and in front of the DJ, the ones closer to the DJ. Those are considered the prime uh, day beds and then the non-prime are going to be further back. There's a couple spots up by the bar behind the DJ. There's also a couple DJs, by the way, a couple tables behind the DJ, the, the if you will, DJ tables. Now, I think they use those for the, the DJ crew and, I mean, maybe special requests to get up there if you want, but there's a couple cool tables right behind the DJ. And there's also some day beds that are actually in the water called water day beds, and those are by, by special request only. So if you want to request one of those, just let me know, and I can get you one of those in the smaller pool in the water. And they have a pretty cool, like, waterfall over there, and those are pretty prime as well. Uh, Usually with a you know on a busy Saturday when they're not when they're sold out, if you're gonna want to pay a prime um, day bed price and then you're gonna need a tip to get along one of the ones along the pool uh, to get a prime day bed along the pool, there's gonna be a tip involved. Okay, so um, if you want a specific table anywhere uh, at Marquee here, you're gonna have to tip some some sort. So just hit me up. I'll make make it happen. I'm I'm obviously really good friends with everybody here and the guy at the podium. So we'll we'll make whatever table you want to happen. You just gotta make sure you pay for that level and then tip to get the specific table. So um, there. There are a few uh, day beds um, kind of behind the uh the back bar, um, not quite as prime, if you will, but they're not bad either. They're at least they're out in the sun, and um, they're pretty, pretty decent amount of action back there on a busy Saturday, um, even a Friday and Sunday. And then when they get really busy, they actually seat people inside uh, the cloud and even inside the nightclub. At Marquee Nightclub, they seat people inside. Now, that's going to be out of the sun and in the club, but I've actually been here before uh, on a busy Saturday when the inside dance floor was actually busy, and there was a DJ spinning inside as well during the day, and it was a full-on party here. Out, 
outside and inside the club during the day. So actually, one of those tables inside wasn't half bad that day. So it can be a lot of fun here when it's really busy. So hopefully you guys enjoyed my uh, vlog, if you will, on Marquee uh, Day Club. And if you have any questions for me, uh, just go ahead and hit me up on my cell. I'll put it up above here. It's 773-459-8133. And um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video about Marquee Day Club. I'm Brian Pfeiffer. We will talk to you soon. Bye.